Today's review is the T-Mobile G Slate, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing 3D glasses, it's because this is the first tablet capable of recording 720p 3D HD video. LG's first crack at a 4G internet tablet also records full HD 1080p at 30 frames per second. It has an NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor with 1 GHz at each core, and T-Mobile's new G Slate has 32 GB of internal storage. We really like the size of this tablet. It has an 8.9 inch widescreen display, and uh, it seems a lot smaller than the Zoom. It's a lot more narrow, and we could actually palm it with one hand. We think this is the optimal size when it comes to portability. The G Slate has Wi-Fi, stereo Bluetooth 2.1, and it's capable of connecting to T-Mobile's HSPA Plus 4G networks. And for an operating system, we get Tasty Android 3.0 Honeycomb, and it's a definite improvement over 2.2 or 2.1. It just makes them seem so antiquated. So before we jump into the actual tablet tour, we're gonna talk about battery life. Battery life on this lasts about a day. It's about akin to higher-end smartphones, so it's really gonna need a charge at the end of the night if you're heavy on the usage with this thing. And one of the main subjects, which is kind of odd for this type of device, is image quality, the camera on this thing. We have three different departments. First, we'll start with still image quality. Uh, in bright light, still images were actually very impressive. Low light has a bit of a problem with noise, but what tablet or smartphone doesn't? Um, this is one of the better image performances for a tablet or smartphone. Then there's the 1080p HD video, and we had so many reservations going into this. And surprisingly, this tablet's 1080p full HD quality is akin to some entry-level point-and-shoot cameras. Low light, of course, we had the same noise problem. And uh, another gripe we had was we couldn't use the flash as a video light. But for the most part, 1080p videos some of the best that we've seen, trumping the 720p's on the higher end smartphones. And lastly, we have 3D video, which seemed like more of a gimmick on this device. We have to wear these glasses, and uh, it kind of takes us back to the 70s. Of course, everything has a sort of reddish tint to it, and viewing could make you nauseous in uh, certain environments. The good news is we could upload our 3D videos to YouTube and just add a little tag at the end for the 3D effect to uh, take hold. So that was a plus. But we also like the fact that we could connect our G Slate to an HD monitor via an HDMI connection and watch 3D movies and content right from the screen. Now while we're on the video kick, it's worth noting that this tablet is very picky when it comes to video codecs. We could view HD video trailers online, we couldn't download them and they weren't compatible. So it looks like YouTube and T-Mobile TV are really your only options and uh, it's odd. Google and T-Mobile, who would have thought? As far as the software in the interface, we had a couple Android market crashes, we had a couple other force closes in uh, certain applications. It was more rare than on the Motorola Zoom, but um, it did happen. But let's jump into the T-Mobile G Slate and show you what it's all about. So here's 3.0 Honeycomb, five home screens here, and say we want to add a widget, let's just tap and hold. Look at that, a diagram of the five home screens, and we have a tabbed menu structure here that shows us all our applications and our widgets, and we could simply just drag them onto any one of these screens. It's that freaking easy. Say we want to go to our recent applications or programs, there they are. That brings them all up right there. Full browsing experience. So we have the address bar, we have back, refresh, home buttons, bookmarks, and of course we're going to get the Flash 10.2 upgrade, but right now we have Flash 10.1 that allows us to watch videos in the browser. And here's a look at eBooks, Alice in Wonderland. eBooks are awesome on the G Slate. Of course, Maps on the G Slate is just excellent. It's a really refined experience. And we have this nice big screen to take us where we want to go. YouTube is a great experience too. We have all of our videos here. And 
Same format that we're seeing on most Android devices. Full screen looks awesome on this widescreen monitor. Android market here. It is a little altered for the Android experience, but uh, it's a lot easier to get around with. And we get Need for Speed preloaded on this tablet. Smooth graphics, nice frame rate. So here's our InfoSync diagnosis with the T-Mobile G Slate. If you're looking for an excellent internet tablet with full flash support, gives you the full browser experience, the full Google treatment, and uh, productivity with quick office, 3D gaming, and highly impressive image quality from a device of this caliber, then the T-Mobile G Slate is definitely worth looking at especially if you're a T-Mobile customer. We weren't huge fans of the 3D because of the glasses and the kind of 70s cheesy retro gimmicky thing and we were concerned because of the force closing and the crashing that transpired very infrequently but it did transpire. Overall we think the G Slate edges out the zoom, it's more portable, it's more friendly However, when stacked up against the iPad 2, we'd have to give the iPad 2 the edge because it's just a solid operating system and interface. But we know the next generation of the G Slate, the Zoom, all of these internet tablets, all of these Android internet tablets are going to be vastly improved. And someday the iPad is not going to be sitting pretty. For the entire T-Mobile G Slate review, go to www.infosyncworld.com. We have 3D video samples, 1080p video samples, image samples, and the full analysis of this bad boy. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman.